deep in the heart of North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains, another mountain man is forging ahead. I appreciate y'all coming up to help out. It's a, it's a big task. Because Eustace Conway has a new plan for his future. My dream is to teach people about the traditional mountain ways, survival skills and homesteading skills, back to nature, just sort of traditional lore of all early people. After teaching his neighbors Harrison and Ashley how to homestead from scratch last winter. I like the way you're spreading your feet out. That makes it stable, a lot safer that way. Eustace is now more determined than ever to share his knowledge. This whole camp is part of my legacy, and I've got the vision. Freedom Camp is on the way. And he's called on some old friends to help. I know if Dad was here, he'd be excited about doing this stuff, and I, I am too. Travis and Joseph are the eldest sons of Eustace's late business partner, Preston Roberts. <laughs> wow. Who dedicated many years of his life helping Eustace realize his dream. Check it out. Yeah. We're yeah. back in business. Of turning Turtle Island into a self-sustaining preserve where like-minded people can come to work hard and live free. Your dad really wanted everybody to come and learn these traditional ways. That's one of his really biggest, deepest inspirations is just education. Yeah. But after years of setbacks, there's still a lot of work to be done before Eustace can welcome guests to Freedom Camp. The road getting in here to Turtle Island is rough, like, is kind of an understatement. Yeah, it was pretty sketchy getting in here today. The main obstacle on the road is a dangerous stretch that narrows to just under seven feet, overhanging a steep drop-off. Heck, I get stuck on that road sometimes myself. And the solution is to call in the big guns. There she is. That looks like a serious piece of equipment. The biggest shovel I've ever had. It's a nice one. I'll just jump in the seat, crank it up, see if it'll start up. Just turn that key. Yeah. That's how we like it. Yeah, I love like it. <laughs> Traveling at a slow crawl, it'll take Travis close to an hour to pilot the track hoe to the work site. Have fun. While he inches up the mountain, Eustace and Joseph's mission is to survey the road and create a plan of attack. This thing is like dangerous on steroids here. Yeah, man. The first step to widening the road is to drop a giant beech tree. About to pop. Man, that's intense. Made a mess. That's what you got to do to build a road. You got to yep. make a mess. Yep. Well, it's down and nobody's hurt. That's the main thing. Luckily, the tree didn't slide too far down the hill, which means they can salvage the valuable timber. Yeah, we got to figure out how to work this thing up. Let's go 16, 8, we'll make a cut. Once the tree limbs are bucked, they'll cut the trunk into more manageable 16-foot sections. There's Travis. Then use the track hoe, which has finally arrived, to carry the weight. What we do is we pull it up and then we just cut a section off at a time. So it's just sort of like dissecting, like cutting up a block of cheese. And this is a big block of cheese. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Coming down. All right, now go. Going up. Ah, now we're talking. Now, who wants to ride on this side to keep it balanced? 3,000 pounds there, I bet. All right, stay back, boy. Come on, boy. 
These logs weigh thousands of pounds, and if one of them falls on you, you're going to be dead. There's just no two ways about it. Nice. Yep. Back on Turtle Island. Mountain man ingenuity. Eustace is flexing his mechanical muscle to build the access road that's been a dream, but never a reality for years. We've got the trees out of here now. We got to get the stumps out. We got to cut this big hump off so that we can widen the road and straighten it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. It's like we're taking a problem, the bank on one side, and we're moving it and building up the bank on the other side. The road, which sits atop a dangerous 70-foot drop-off, is too narrow for safe passage. So they're tearing out the protruding bank that's pinching it off and shifting the dirt to the cliffside edge. I'm just moving this dirt and trying to stack it up. We're trying to raise the level of the road by two or three feet, you know. We're trying to bring it up so that the water will flow properly and get the ditches cut, and the dozer's pretty good at that. Raising the road will help prevent erosion and washouts, but Eustace is taking an additional step to defend against powerful mountain storms. Did you see the ditch all the way down through here? This is where the water's gonna end up running and it has to keep going downhill till it hits a culvert. It's all about the water, really. The culvert is an underground water system that allows the drainage coming down the mountain to go under the road instead of get on top of it. You want the top of the road to be high, high and dry. The ditch will channel runoff into a pipe that'll be laid beneath the road to drain water down the cliffside. That's it right there. Two tons of rock and dirt will hold the pipeline in place and will get sturdier over time as it's compressed by the pressure from above. Yeah, I'm just gonna smooth it up. Pretty soon here I'll be able to drive over the thing. It's kind of exciting. I look forward to the maiden voyage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. This road is what we need now. It's nice and wide. I've got over 18 foot right here where it used to be too narrow to get through. Now we just need to smooth all that up. Heck yeah. Being able to pass on my legacy is really important to me. Now that we have this better access, we're a real big step closer to Freedom Camp. I'm glad you guys came up here and helped me make this happen. It's looking good, isn't it? I can just see campers coming in right now, lined up. Preston would be smiling big time right now. I believe he's here with us today. I think one of the things that make him the happiest is seeing the boys work on it, you know? It's really wonderful for me, and I think Joseph feels this way too, to get up here and work on something that Dad was yeah. passionate about. It's really great. It's got his thumbprint on it. This road is singing like a band of angels. I just love it. I just feel like Preston is so happy that we got it done too. You know, it's just a dream that we had together and he's not with us to celebrate it, but his boys are.